Hi, welcome back to my channel. Now if you struggle to get veggies into your kids, then you're going to love today's recipe. It's a healthy twist on an old family favorite. It's hidden cauliflower mac and cheese. This recipe is perfect for the pickiest of eaters. You can't taste the cauliflower, you can't see it, you can't smell it. It's blended in with the cheese sauce and nobody will know it's even there. Okay, so let's get started. This is what you're going to need. Some dry pasta and either macaroni or any other kind of pasta you have, a whole cauliflower, a vegetable stock cube, milk, grated cheddar cheese, butter, Dijon mustard, and then for the topping you need some more cheddar cheese, panko breadcrumbs and cherry tomatoes. So first up we need to get the pasta cooking so we're just going to place it on the hob in some boiling water and cook it according to the package instructions. Next we need to cut the cauliflower into small florets and we're going to place it in a second saucepan along with the vegetable stock cube, cover that also in boiling water and then cook it for about five minutes until the cauliflower is totally soft. Once that's ready, we're then going to drain it and then we're going to add the cauliflower to a blender along with the milk, the grated cheese, the butter and the Dijon mustard. And then we're just going to blitz all of those ingredients until you get a lovely sauce. And if at this stage it seems a little bit too thick, feel free to add some extra milk. If you like, you can also add some salt and pepper at this stage. So next it's time to drain the pasta and once that's drained we're going to return it to the saucepan and then we're going to add in our lovely cauliflower sauce and mix all that together. We're then going to transfer the pasta into either one large dish or several small dishes and then we're going to sprinkle on top the extra cheese and the panko breadcrumbs and then finally we're going to finish with a whole cherry tomato. We're then going to pop those in the oven for about 15 minutes until the sauce is bubbling and it's lovely and crispy on top. When they come out of the oven they will be super hot so give them a few minutes to cool slightly before you serve them to the kids but otherwise they're good to go. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe, it's one of my family favourites and I hope it will become one of yours too. Please do click the like button, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course subscribe for brand new recipes every week and I'll see you next time.